Large language models are great at natural language processing tasks. They can also do code generation, but often they struggle to come up with the perfect quality. That is where this new approach Alpha Codium can help. This new research by Tal Rednick, Didi and Itamar Friedman has come up with this new ap- approach which tries to solve few of the problems which are faced by LLMs when they try to generate the code. Code generation problems differ from common natural language issues. They require matching the exact syntax of the target language, identifying happy paths and edge cases, paying attention to numerous small details in the problem spec, and addressing other code specific issues and requirements. Happy paths mean that a path which is taken by user to arrive to a desired result without encountering any issues and errors and it's a very common terminology in software development. Now this is where this alpha codium helps a lot. It is a new approach which is a test based multi-stage code oriented iterative flow that improves the performance of large language models on code problems. Another cool thing about this alpha codium is that the researchers tested it on uh, a very challenging data set called as code contest and that is there they were able to increase the efficiency of GPT-4 from 90% with a single well-designed direct pr- prompt to 44% with alpha codium flow. That is amazing. Another thing which really I'm um, very uh, excited about is that they have released the code and let me take you to their GitHub repo. So they have all of the code and other stuff on this GitHub repo which you can check out. Now this is the introduction and now let's try to get this installed on our local system. The system which I'm going to use is my local Ubuntu system and I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 as you can see on my screen. Let me clear my screen. I have one GPU on this server by the way and for this uh, to work you would also need OpenAI's API key. First step let's clone the github uh, repo of this project which is alphacodium.git Let's wait for it to done. That is cool. And now CD to alpha codium again ls ltr and you can see that it has some requirement.txt. Let's install all the requirements here with pip install dash r requirement.txt and it is going to install some of the stuff which is required by this. So let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. All the requirements are done. Let me clear my screen and then ls again. And now as we have done uh, the requirements, let's set the OpenAI API key for that. Go to CD alpha codium and then go to settings. And then you will see that there will be a TOML file where for the, with the secrets word in it. And because it's a hidden file, so let me clear my screen and do ls dash la. And you can see the top file is this secrets.toml. Let's rename this one. I'll just copy this like this. So just uh, rename it like dot secrets underscore template. It is already in that format, which is good. But um, I would just remove this template from here. And I, I'll just call it dot secrets.toml. That is good. Let's quickly check if it did. LA. Okay, we have got it. Now let's open it in the vi editor. .toml. And this is where we need to specify our uh, OpenAI's API key in the uh, within the process. Let me do it and save it. So I have set my OpenAI's API key, and I'm at the root of the f- project again. Let me clear my screen. And if you don't have any OpenAI's API key, go to platform.openai.com and you would need to buy that uh, OpenAI API key. Unfortunately, that's not free. Let's clear it. Now, the next step, we need to download the data set which we are going to use. And in our case, we are going to simply use this code context underscore valid. And you can see that it is available in this zip file. So download this zip file at the root of the folder and unzip it. Let me do that quickly. So you can use, see that I just used this wget command. Let me go up a little bit. 
so this is what I use wget and then I downloaded it from here like this and it has downloaded the whole data set in my root folder let's quickly verify okay, so I would just need to check the zip file and I'm going to unzip it now with this simple unzip and then the zip file which we have just downloaded with wget and it is inflating it it is around 64 meg of size uh, this whole thing and you can see that here it's 64 meg okay that is done so data set is loaded and our installation is done and now let's try to solve a specific problem with alpha codium so this is the root folder we where we are at in alpha codium and we need to run this command now if you look at this command what is happening is that we are calling alpha codium dot solve problem and then we are specifying the data set name which is just the data set we downloaded and then we are um, also giving it a problem number so validation set which we downloaded contains around 117 problems and the test set contains 165 problems uh, so problem number should be accordingly something like zero based and then we have split name test it can be valid or test i'm just going to go with the test one and then i'm just using the solve function here also each run logs the result to uh, a log file too so let's uh, run it and then wait for it so it is running as you can see and it is running inference running code it will take a bit of a time so let's see it's not a big data set so let's see and now you can see that it is generating possible solution stage and in running inference on it let's see and now it is selecting the best solution stage after running all of the stages and now it is generating the AI test stage and running the inference on it and now it is doing run initial code generation stage and you can see that here the test failed but it is moving on to the next one and you can see that it is going through all the tests and there are hundreds of tests which it will go through and then at the end it is going to give you the response around it the whole report so it finished running after 10 to 15 minutes and you can see here that it has generated this report at the end where how many tests were passed generated and all that stuff and of course you can use it on your own problems and then it will generate the report by using openai's api key so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions or thoughts on this paper let me know and i'll be happy to help uh, there are a lot of good things around it uh, as how it works what are the workflows um, so really if you are interested then i would suggest you read through this paper and i'll drop the link in video's description for this alpha codium thanks for watching if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network thanks